This is the solution to you getting more women. What's good with y'all, man? Listen up, bro. The science of getting more women. Here's something every man must do, and every man is actually capable of implementing this, guys. This is a strategy for everybody. It's universal, okay? It's not a secret as to what women desire from men. Now, let me just say this right now. Here's a disclaimer. This does not mean that a woman is your priority, nor does this mean that you got to give them the world, okay? Especially if you got to take your time and, and understand that you're interviewing them and getting to know them first, like women automatically assume. See, one thing they're going to assume about you when you become this quality man is that you should be given them all that you've worked for, all that you've earned for. It. They assume they automatically deserve it. Fellas, I'm telling you right here, right now, you don't got to do not a damn thing. You don't got to do Nathan. All right. They need to be proving themselves to you, but you only become this man. This only becomes plausible when you show that it's going to take something out of you to get me. Becoming something that is not easily attainable by her. Women do love the chase. Secretly, they actually want to earn you when they see you and they're like, oh, that's him. They want to earn you and they don't want it to be easy. They want the roles flipped, guys. And the science behind it is you need to turn down any of their advances as far as them trying to put it on you. When they ask you questions, right? I got asked, oh, are you cocky? Are you cocky? Now, would it look like me trying to tell you an answer? See, most guys, when they get told or asked something by a woman, they're automatically going to conform it in their mind to speak it out to them in a way that's going to be agreeable to a woman. A lot of guys screw up thinking they're going to get more women by trying to appease them. That is false. Telling the truth. OK, being cutthroat about it. That don't mean you got to be disrespectful, but letting a woman know your stance and you deserve to have one because you set a standard of yourself. You set a precedent as a man that you meet, that you qualify for. So any woman trying to get on this ride, any woman trying to get a golden ticket, any woman try to hop on this roller coaster, you need to earn a position. You need to earn the spot. You don't just pull up to practice and be like, I deserve the starting position. Hell no, nah, bitch, it's not what we doing over here. That's not what we doing. I don't even know if you can hit the corner three. I don't know if you'll be a good role player. You know what I'm saying? They think that, they don't need to try out. And fellas, I'm here to tell you they got to try out for you. Once you present that kind of energy, it changes the game. Women will want you more. And then guess what's going to happen? See, women will observe you talking to other women, right? Women will see you interacting with another woman and they will look to see based off of the communication and the body language that she's showing to you whether or not you are being successful in that interaction. Now, you don't always have that don't mean that, oh, she got to be this and she got it. And they're looking for certain things. If you're standoffish and right, let's say she approached you or something or she chose you and you talking to her and you like you comfortable and you calm, cool, collected. Women just like to see that at very least. At the very least, they want to see that he's comfortable. He's used to this. He must get approached a lot. He must have a lot of women jogging his set. He must have a lot of women that want to use their throat as his daycare. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. For real, though, it's funny because women giving you attention makes other women want to give you more attention. And that only adds. It only adds. It only adds. That's when you really flip the game on its head. That's the science behind getting more women. They got to know that you are not easily attainable. They can't just hop on your Johnson because they want to. Women are used to getting what they want, guys. They're used to it. They literally live a lifestyle where they get a lot of stuff for free. Or they're purposely lied to to make themselves feel better by their own friends and by other men, mostly simps, mostly betas, mostly cucks. They'll sit here and lie to them and compliment them all day. They get a bunch of this freeze. They don't even know what's right and what's wrong. They don't even know who's telling the truth and who's not because of their own misconception about how valuable they are. But guess what? You don't have to participate. Okay. 
you holding your cards to yourself as a valuable man, holding your energy to yourself. See, what it is, guys, is literally you having this aura around you that you keep concealed. Everybody cannot have it. Women might be attracted to it. They'll pull up on you. That don't mean that you can just have me, though. That don't mean that there's barriers to popping on this Johnson. Be something that's more of a challenge to them. And watch how it'll flip their mindset as to, oh, now I see. Now I see what's going on here. This is one of those guys. You want to be one of those guys, man. Like You really want to be a man that's incapable of just being easily accessible. Your time really got to be valuable. Like even when women pull up on me and I'm like, oh, yo, yeah, what's up? And they'll want to talk and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to talk to you. And they just they don't even understand that. They're see in their mind. They're always thinking, oh, you would be honored to have a conversation with me. I'm giving you the opportunity to hop inside this box. I'm giving you the opportunity to crash these guts. And then they want to go on a rant and ramble and, and talk to you and try to get to know you speed date real quick and all this other stuff. And nah, I'm good. I'd rather take that time and put it here or I'd rather take that time and you don't even meet my qualifications. They don't even know if you're attracted to them yet, but they automatically assume that you should want them because they got a box. Hell no. Hell no. With this mindset and guys, obviously you got to be implementing this into your lifestyle. This has to become your life. Just like the gym becomes your life becomes routine for you. You doing this, you doing that attaining success. This has to become a part of your lifestyle. When this happens, though, you will be getting more women. There will be more women choosing, chasing you, doing a lot of things to try to prove themselves to you. But now the battle becomes, how can I literally turn down these cheeks over here? This woman over here a little crazy. She following me or, or she trying to talk to me too much and I'm trying to ignore her. This other chick. I knew she was crazy back when I clapped those buns and she come back now. Now she in my vicinity. Oh man, how I'm going to avoid this chick. This other girl, I am me from the side and I don't even know why she just lurking like that. Like you're going to have these kind of situations happen to you. And it's just about ducking them off at that point. It's about turning down the guts. Now you're turning down cheeks. Now it's like, oh yeah, it's not about getting it. See, some guys are focused is levels to it. Some guys are just like, I just want a piece those are the guys begging for feet picks. That's Billy Bob, Jimmy over there sitting down, going akimbo, ambidextrous with the Jergens. He partnering up. They like, let's get it. Handshaking his way all the way to a sticky towel. That's what he's on. So, of course, he'll pay for some feet picks or something. Of course, you subscribing to these chicks only fans, making them feel like they're more valuable when they're not. On the other side, being the man that's getting this stuff, you only get more. You only get more women choosing you. You only get more women desiring you because they see that you are not easily accessible. It's not easy for a woman to just show up and get you just because she over here shaking her cheeks in your face and juking on your Johnson. If your Johnson don't get activated, she ain't doing it for you. A lot of women don't even understand that part. See, women are in the bashing man like, oh, yeah, his. His game was trap. I mean, I've never been told that. My, yeah, I've never been told that unless she blatantly just capping. But I mean, obviously, women will see that. Like, nah, you're lying. There's no way. Of course. But women that sit here and lie on your name, uh, we don't care about that. That's not reality. Anyways, I digress. A lot of women think that they box comes already good. A lot of women think they can't be bad in bed because they box already come with a refurbished like i don't know what the hell they think they prepackaged with some bonus extra ish that make all boxes across the world good it's always good just get inside of it no 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 no. that's not the case okay there are women that are trash but it'll be like lying in bed patrick starfish fuck me don't do nothing for you or maybe she's just not attractive enough some women think that a man can't bust fast on purpose some women think that if he don't jump up at excitement to at the sight of you that something's wrong with him. Maybe you're not doing it for that guy. You see what that is? You see what that, maybe you're not enough. Maybe you're not attractive enough. Maybe your box was actually trash. They never think about that side, ever. Fellas, they never think that they're not good enough. So 
It's not about you going out of your way to show them. You don't go out of your way to tell a chick, right? Let's say a chick approach you. Don't be dumb and be like, oh, yeah, MJ, chick approached me, and I just told her that she was ugly, and I said, get out of my face. I'm cool now. Just shut up. That's, that's What are you doing? What are you doing? This ain't a showboating contest. You are a man. If a woman is choosing you, and then she starts to do all this stuff, and you, you're getting turned off, leave. Then she's put on notice that just because she got a box don't mean you're going to sit there and entertain that BS. They don't get told that. They don't deal with rejection typically. They don't. you going to have to start rejecting them. When you start rejecting them, women will notice that first off, that's going to take your energy to the next level. You starting to turn down box, coochie coming your way and you just turning it down. You're going to start to think, whoa, whoa, whoa. it really... This is really what it is. This is really what it is. It's about being a valuable asset, being the peace, being the king that I know I need to be, and just understanding that they already going to want me because I've worked hard on myself. They're going to want me. Now I just pick and choose what I want to do with them. Now I just pick and choose who can hop on this Johnson. Now I pick and choose. That's how it's going to be. You do have to work to get to that position, fellas. Don't think it's just going to show up the next day. It takes patience, all right, in order to become the man you want to be to have these women, to use women to get more women. You know what I mean? And I got a bunch of that kind of content on my Patreon, but I digress again. Listen, you stuck around this far, fellas. I want you to be in a place where women are seeing you interact with other women. They're liking you more and more, but also they're understanding, oh, they got to prove themselves to you and not the other way around. So y'all be easy.